Okay, so here's how to modify an AliExpress bar, or you can find them on eBay as like Popular Grow. They come in 24, 36, and 48 um, dimensions, maybe a little bit less, but these are these bars that kind of mock the Orfex. Now I got my bars originally with uh, the daylight spectrum and had a few greens and it has whites and blues in it, but that's about it. And the greens are very off-putting. So I wanted to modify these bars to accept uh, more purplish, about 420 nanometer light. So in order to modify these AliExpress bars, you need to remove the four screws that are located on the wired end so you remove those with the standard screwdriver and that will enable you once removed to slide the panel out. So once you have taken out the four screws in the AliExpress bar, it will be free to slide right out of the covering. So just a tip, keep the screws that you removed somewhere where you'll remember them to put them back in, which will help you keep this bar waterproof or you know, water resistant. Got it positioned in a spot where you can work on it, you're going to want to know which LED diodes you want to remove. So I don't like the greens, and the greens come on from the ends as the fifth. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth and the 14th from each side. And so those are the LED diodes I want to remove. Now that the fixture is unplugged, we are going to count from the ends for which ones I want to take out. So one, two, three, four, five. This is the green. You can wiggle this lens cap, lens cap a little bit, and then you can take it out. It comes right off. And now there's your green LED 3-watt diode. So before I get working on this job, I'd like to point out some materials and tools that you can use to complete this job. So pliers would be very helpful to use to help pull off the diode. A pick would also be helpful. Um, some electrical solder and general purpose paste flux will help you solder on a little bit more solder onto the, um, the positive and negative points. And then you're also going to need thermal paste. You can get this at a Best Buy or order it online. This basically helps keep heat away from the diode as it burns and distribute that into the aluminum board that it's mounted on. And then finally, a soldering iron or something a little bit better than this. This works, but it would be better to just spend a few more bucks and um, get yourself something that's made for electronics. Doesn't have to be great. There's only four diodes that I'm working on in this stick. So just something that would make it go by a little bit more smooth. With a plier and I destroy the diode that was sitting on top, which leaves you with this little point of contact. Now this needs to be removed, but when you remove the diode like this, it'll rip up the soldering points. Now I have extra solder and it makes a long job a little bit quicker just to just rip it out. So I will then proceed to rip this out, which may take a little bit of time. Okay, that is now out, a little bit scratched up, but still looking pretty good. I will now take some rubbing alcohol right here and wipe this point of contact to get rid of any grease or any glue or anything like that. So I'll just take a few wipes and then I'll get ready to put the new diode on. So now with this diode removed and this spot cleaned up, I will apply just a smidge of heat paste onto where the diode will sit right here. I'll put some down. You want to apply enough to where it makes contact. A little bit more is better than none at all. Okay. So you're going to want to get your three watt diodes that you have ordered before this job and you're going to want to match up the polarity because polarity is very important. On these boards it has a positive and that's where you put the positive end of your diode. So these diodes that I have ordered come with a plus for positive and a negative just one line through it for of course negative and you're just going to stick those in the order onto this board, and then you're going to have to solder them in. So, here's your diode, and you're going to want to match your positive end on your diode, and if I can focus with the positive end, there's a little plus right there with the positive end on the board. 
But what you're going to want to do is apply a little bit of that paste flux to the bottom of these diodes where they're being soldered in so they have a good connection. So with this little point, I will apply just a smidge of paste flux on this point and just a smidge of paste flux on here before I add more solder. Now that I've done that, I'm going to add some solder to the board using this pin to press right here and a little bit of solder right next to it so it'll group up right on the so now with heating these points on the board right next to the solder, I've added just a smidge of solder to each point. Now carefully, I have put my diode right on top of the points that I need to solder into. Um, with heat, I will be able to melt this point and this point into the solder that's on the point where it'll have conductivity. Okay, so I've got the positive end soldered in. Um, be careful not to burn these uh, these parts right here and they'll, they'll melt pretty quick. And so what I did was basically I just did a sliding maneuver by heating the solder and sliding this into it, um, sliding the diode into the solder while it's heated. And so I will heat this and sink the diode down into it as well. So not the prettiest job, and the angle's a smidge bit off, and you can work with that, but it's soldered in, and it ain't going anywhere. Okay, so now this diode is soldered in. It's not pretty, and uh, it certainly isn't my best one that I've done. It's The angle's a little bit off, but it is soldered in, and so it should not break off, and it should light up. So let's test that out. And so... Would you look at that? It is soldered in and ready to go. Now you just put the lens on and it should twist right on. And that's how to replace the diodes on one of these bars. The reason why you would be doing this is because these bars, I think cost around $80, whereas the competition cost around $180 to $200. So these are a much better price and value if you value that. Anyway, I'll see you guys with my next video. I am going to be putting these over a 125 gallon aquarium.